Black Beatles in the city, be back immediately to confiscate the Monday. I sent flowers, but you said you didn't receive them. You said you didn't need them. That girl is a real crowd pleaser. Small world, all her friends. Hey guys, know welcome me. back. And yes, if you're wondering, this is the same makeup look from another video but i was recording two videos in a day so i decided to knock this one out and tell you my experience with my new Pearson. so just in case if you didn't know i got a new Pearson around my birthday time and i got the Cunch Pearson, which looks like this and i'll zoom it in so you can see it okay so this is the Cunch Pearson, which looks like this so let's go straight through the ear so this is what this looks like and this is on my right ear so if you just watched my other video i was talking about that i wanted another piercing on my right ear um at first i was going to get the ford helix but then i changed my mind on that and was going to get an industrial piercing which you know is the bar that goes up here but whenever i went in i didn't have the anatomy for it so that was kind of you know kind of sucked but you know glad he did tell me that because i hate that if he would have done it, and then i would have had trouble or problems with it in the future so i do appreciate him telling me that wasn't going to work and kind of looking at my ear because it's kind of really thin and shallow on this side so i can see what he was talking about when he said it wasn't going to work so instead of getting the four helix i ended up getting the cunch because that's another piercing that i like um and I, in this video, I'm just going to say cunch because I know I think it's different ways that people do say this piercing. But I'm just going to say cunch and that's how my piercer said it. So that's what I'm going for. Um, I also went to the same place. I went to Urban Tattoo here in Arlington to get it done. And I also went to my same piercer, which his name is Cody. I had all that information in my previous video, but I'll also link it below just in case if you want that information if you're in this area. But again, he did a good job. Um, he went fast, but, uh, you know, he didn't go too fast where, you know, I felt, you know, unsafe or uncomfortable. I'm just glad that he went fast where it wasn't going in real slow. But even before then, he told me about the Pierce and how to take care of it with the specs. So he made me feel real comfortable before I even got the Pierce. And again, I liked it. And um, I ended up selecting the Blue Jewelry because on... The other side, I got the silver and the stuff. But I just kind of wanted to change it up. And again, blue is my favorite color. So that's why I went with that. But overall, I do like the piercing. And as for pain wise, I just guess I do it like on my other video from 1 to 10. I would actually have to say this was a 3. I thought this was probably going to be worse than all the piercing, but it wasn't that bad. Um, still, out of all the ones that's on my ear, I would still say the date was probably the worst. And that you know, out of 10, I ranked that like a 4. So, the country was definitely a 3 because the trackies was like my easiest one. So, but overall, like I said before, I do like it. As I said, I didn't have any problems with the piercing. Oh, one thing I do want to note that with this piercing, I did um, bleed a lot compared to these two. Because this one, I mean, I did, but it wasn't a lot. But this one here really was coming out and one thing with him you know he was just checking and make sure that it stopped bleeding before i left just to make sure there were no issues with that but eventually it did stop bleeding and ever since that it hasn't bled anymore so like that part as for sleeping um <laughs> i wasn't thinking because you know since i got this on my left side i was usually sleeping on my right side to avoid this so when i got this i was like oh, i can't really sleep on this side because it's not fully healed but I end up um, taking some tips that I saw on Reddit because I know they have like a piercing section. And I know a lot of people saying that they sleep on travel pillows to help them sleep. And this is how my travel pillow looks. I just lay on it like this. I'm going to like this with my ear in the hole so none of my piercing is basically touching anything. So I don't have to worry about it being affected or me irritating it and it actually been working because at first i was thinking now nah, that's probably not gonna work right because i like to sleep comfortable but it's been working out so far and it, sometimes if i do somehow in the middle of the night get off the pillow end up sleeping on my regular pillow um it has an effect in my piercing you know it's not sore the next day and it's not hurting or anything so that part is going good as for cleaning my piercing i'm doing just like i did with these two 
Um, I usually do salt water soaks, well I should say sea salt water soaks for this where I put some salt and hot water in the cup and just let it sit there and I soak it. I let it soak for about seven minutes. If I'm not soaking it, then I use this. This is a wound wash that I got from, I think I got this from Walmart, but I also had one from CVS, like their brand. Basically, um, sometimes I just take it and spray it right on a piercing and then sometimes I take a Q-tip, spray it on there and then just wipe in it. Just kind of wipe off the little crusties, but overall the sea soaks in this been working great i also want to update everybody with my other two piercings so in my previous video you know i had my dace done and my tragus okay i zoomed it in a little bit so you can see how those are looking so they are actually healing up pretty okay now i wish i could say i didn't have any issues with the piercings but i did um Whenever I got this piercing done, as I got this done at the end of May, I did have my piercer check this just to make sure it was okay. And he said it was healing properly and it looked good, um, which was a good thing because before that, I know with my tragus, I don't know what I did. I don't know if I bumped it or something got into it while I was washing my hair. I don't know, but I think it got a little infection. Because it kind of got red and it kind of got a little swollen, which I was thinking, oh, gosh, you know, I might have to take out this piercing. But, you know, I just kept up with my um, sea, uh, sea salt soaks and using the wound wash to keep it clean. And that's all I use for it. And then one day, sorry if this is TMI, when I was cleaning with the Q-tip, I guess some, like, white pus start oozing out of it. <laughs> And, you know, from there, I still kind of cleaned that off. But after it did that, it, you know, the little swelling went back down. It wasn't red anymore. And after that, it's been fine. My date, I haven't had that type issues. But I did notice on the top part of my date, it was starting to form like a little bitty bump. Again, I started researching, you know, just to make sure how to deal with the bumps and how to make it go down. So one thing I was using, then I was using before and then I kind of stopped was the tea tree oil, which looks like this. So basically I would just dab um, my Q-tip in the tea tree oil, put it on top of the day, and then the bump went down. And I haven't had any issues with the bump so far. I guess that it was kind of forming, just a small one, and then it went back down. And since then, I haven't had any issues. So, but guys, if you want a full detail of how I clean my pierces, just let me know because I can make a separate video to show how I do each piercing, how I clean it out. But basically, that's what I've just been doing, just keeping it clean, not touching it. Um, not twirling the jury around, you know, I clean it, leave it alone, just letting it heal up. And that's why I had no issues with either piercing. Oh, there's one thing I did forget. With the cunch, after I got the piercing, now I will say that day was kind of like a little throbbing pain. Nothing unbearable where it was just, you know, it was just so excruciating. Nothing like that. But I did know it was kind of tender and kind of a little painful. But that was just the day of the piercing. The next day it was gone. Um, and as I said, that week it was just pretty sore, but it was only sore when I had to clean it. Any other time, you know, I really didn't feel that it was there. Now, so I will link all the piercing information below and also the shop that I got it done. Again, I would recommend them. Never have any issues when I go there. And of course, my piercer's great. Um, I plan to go to him again when I finally get my forward helix, which... I think either I'm going to get late this year or next year. I'm just going to try to heal these up first before I get any piercings. That's what I'm thinking. You know, stuff change, but that's what I want to do. But, yeah, I'm going to the same person that did it because I trust him. And as I said, his piercings never have any issues. He's quick. And as I said, the pain of each person wasn't that bad. So I'm going back for that. If you have any questions or comments, leave it below. That's what I'm saying. I'm not professional, but I can't answer questions about my experience and my piercer in the shop if you have any questions about that. But until next time, I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you, you know, enjoyed this video. Just show some love back. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. That girl is a real crowd pleaser. Small world, all her friends know me. Young boy living like an old geezer Release the cash, watch it fall slowly 
frat girl still trying to get even. 